All right, we should be live. Hey, Lubos, uh, how you doing? All good, all I, good. Yeah. I, everybody... yeah. <laughs> okay, everyone, uh, my name is Roland, and I'm part of the uh, SUSE open source community team. And I have Lubos Kochman with me. He's the uh, release manager for OpenSUSE Leap. So welcome, welcome, and congratulations on the release. Um, so I'm okay. I'm new to the company. I'm new to I'm new to the community. Can you tell me how I can get one uh, fifteen six, please? Absolutely, absolutely. I think that maybe I can just screen share because like uh, this could be useful for so many users. Yeah, uh, it's yeah, very easy. You you just navigate to get open to the org, get open to the org, like that, and you have all of the uh, distributions that we offer. Give it a sec. Give it a sec. Okay, here we go. Sure. And basically yeah. here you have Leap 15.6. Okay. Some of it will be the early distro. So you go for Leap 15.6 and you go to download and you mm -hmm. get either a Intel or ARM image. And we have also other architectures like PowerPC or Systemz. You get it from here. We also, if you go to download OpenSUSE.org, like uh, for any advanced images uh, or specific appliances, Download open source distribution leaf 15.6, and then you can find all of the ISO images for all of the architectures. Like there is four pages of them. So this is the two ways. I recommend get open source or uh, maybe check release notes, uh, which are linked from the page uh, if you if you check it to see what's new. And it should be mostly running on all of the hardware which is available. <laughs> okay, and and you said all the new stuff. Can you can you share with us what's new? Absolutely. I absolutely. Uh, we, we spoke about uh, updating the uh, visual interfaces and such. Can you can you share something there? Yes, yes. Uh, so uh, we are always based on latest SLES. Uh, and the SLES, which is about to be released uh, on SUSECON, uh, which is next week, is SLES 15 SP6. So Leap 15.6 would be based on SLES 15 SP6. And we take basically all of the software that they have uh, with us, right? So if and we inherit like GNOME from Slash, kernel from Slash. So I cannot say I want latest, greatest kernel. We will always get the stuff from Slash. So uh, that's given. And it also guarantees that enterprise style distribution. Uh, and then we try not, kind of try to mix it with latest stuff uh, from community. And uh, for example, uh, when it comes to community stuff, KDE, uh, you may ask, why don't we have Plasma 6, you know, when it was released relatively yep. recently. We have uh, 52711, which is the latest uh, Plasma LTS. And Leap is always the distribution that will be referring latest LTS version, long-term supported versions over latest greatest. And it, it basically supports the experience that we want to provide to users, that they always get like stable distribution with not so many changes, while you know, still getting all the security updates. So, so LTS version of Plasma fits more into leap style or leap expectations than Plasma 6, which was, well, I would say, problem someone on Tumbleweed, for example, initially. Uh, we fabricated GNOME as well, not to 46, uh, as some people may actually guess uh, or may want, because that was way after our beta code submission deadline. So we went with uh, GNOME 35, which again, we've inherited from Celeste. I still feel like that's a, that's a nice update. And uh, if we would go out of, uh, out of GNOME or desktop stuff, there was like it, this update is huge. We we have like lots of Python 311 modules. We were for a long time stuck with 3.6 until I believe 15.5. And then we started to enroll like uh, you know secondary interpreter because Python 3.6 is really legacy. So we use it only for like system stuff. In Fedora, you would know it as system Python. So we do not recommend anybody to use it for development and just, just use the 3.11 version, which should have loads of modules already in the distribution. So that's that's very recognizable change. Um, and that allowed us also to add cockpit to the distribution. Cockpit is the web interface. Uh, I'm not sure if user know it. It's pretty cool. You can basically manage your entire system from a web browser. Uh, like the functionality is relatively limited maybe to uh, some of the other software, but but it, it's free, it's available, and I really like it. Uh, originally, it was only in Leap Micro, and in 15.6, we are basically getting it to Leap and also to slash 15 SP6 through package hub module, which I think is a really nice change. We have a brand new wallpaper. <laughs> it's, it looks exactly <laughs> the same, but the format is different. 
<laughs> so we now use SVG because of the cockpit. Cockpit expected that the yeah wallpaper would be SVG. On SLES, uh, that's the case. Only we have PNG. And if you would like to reuse the same binary, for example, then uh, and not recompile it, you would have a problem. We would have to build it twice. So now we have consistent path across less and leap for wallpaper, which will simply work for yeah, both. So that, that's now possible too. Um, and it, it's huge. We've refreshed the entire container stack. So we have like, uh, I believe, Podman 3, uh, sorry, 4.8.3, which uh, which delivers like latest, well, it's not super latest because there was like recent update, but uh, you can run Nextcloud with Quadlats on Sless and Leap, which is really cool. That was what I was aiming for. Uh, we have a nice demo on YouTube about it uh, on Leap Micro, but you can do the same on Leap. Um, yeah, I'm thinking what else? There's like plenty. Like it was a really huge update compared to, we've also dropped a lot of uh, obsolete Python packages that were no longer maintained, uh, typically built for Python 3.6. So huge cleanup. Release notes have like the largest cleanup of the Python, uh, drop, drop of Python packages that we've ever had. Uh, so, so large cleanup, lots of updates. Less, I think it was like the biggest amount of features implemented in the single release. Uh, when it comes to SLES 15, which makes sense because this is basically the last feature release. The next release, which is uh, 15 SP7, that will be more like maintenance release. Uh, so yeah, we do not plan to do leap 15.7. Uh, so the next one would be 16. Uh, I'm really, really- yeah, I, was, I, was about, that... I was about to ask you if you have left anything for 16 because you have updated so many stuff in that yeah, release. Yeah, we, we, we have like plus one <laughs> six, right? Which we <laughs> have to somehow figure out. Uh, yeah. And uh, that's going to be huge, but like uh, we are basically it's less, I would say it's in early development slash planning and uh, therefore like the scoping is not fully done. So as much as I can, we already have like uh, everything which is built internally mirror publicly, so that's good. So we can start really early. I'm actually trying to build some experimental uh, images for our open source conference, which will be in two weeks. But uh, the scope is unclear. So uh, I really, well, we can throw any community software that builds on it, but uh, I would like to make sure that we do not uh, fork anything from SLES. So we still reuse binaries, which was um, you know big selling point of leap for past three years or so. Uh, so yeah, it will be big. I think that we can expect it like towards end of the next year, uh, like uh, I would say fall. Which, which seems to be with the early communication, much with early communication to partners that we've done on SLES side. Uh, so I think that if everything goes well, this 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 will be the case. I've already updated the roadmap on the open source wiki so people know what to expect. And yeah, and it will be a ride. I can tell you, we 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 plan we plan to build <laughs> like uh, we we plan to change the build workflow. Uh, you know, we are experimenting with Git workflow in OBS. It, it's not issue issue free, let's say it this way, but it will be a big step forward. Mm -hmm. and, Any anything uh, else that you you are interested in, Leap? Like, um, yeah. you know, yeah. uh, have you planned anything for for the Open Source Con in two weeks' time? Like, yes, yes, yes. I will have Leap sixteen. We will we will talk about leap. Well, there is a lots of talks, but when it comes to leap specifically, we will be talking about leap and leap micro, uh, leap sixteen and leap micro six zero. Uh, leap micro is a little container host, um, and that will be probably released within two weeks from now. Uh, we've already clarified on maintenance setup, which was a deal breaker because the download page list is at alpha. But in fact, we like the product has high quality. I basically debranded uh, Slim Micro, which is released for a week now. And uh, yeah, we, it was just the infra setup which made it alpha for me. So that, that will be probably live very soon, maybe before OSC. And uh, I want to talk about what's new because this is the first SUSE Linux Framework 1 built product. And uh, yeah, it's, it's a new era for us. So we really needed refresh after SLES 15 and, and it, that's slowly happening. Um, so yeah, that will be exciting. Leap 16, what do we plan? What are the challenges? It will be probably 30 minutes talk about uh, you know how people can early contribute. Uh, how can we make it like a, a good and successful project and maybe learn from some of the mistakes that we had on, on Leap 15. By the way, if I can do a little promotion here, we have open release retrospective. So if you maybe never used Leap, that's also really good feedback. You go to our download page, you download it, you install it. And then you maybe something will not work out for you. Well, hey, please report bugs for stuff that's not working. That like if you just write something didn't work in retro, we will have to report back anyway. 
So go to Bugsy Lau and Susan Oark and report issue. That, and then maybe you can mention it in the retrospective. And the retrospective is available on Survey Open Susan Oark. So you can just go there and it's super quick. It will take you like two minutes. Well, unless you have a lot of issues. Uh, and it has basically two questions. Okay. Uh, okay. How open Susan next? This is it. What went well? What didn't go too well? You can just submit the response. Uh, I will process it. We will place the feedback on Wiki. And most importantly, I will share the feedback with the engineering team so they actually see that maybe you didn't like what happened, I don't know, with GNOME. Or, uh, or maybe you were not happy about, I don't know, input switching. If, if you had like NVIDIA card like me. Uh, and, uh, sorry, under Valent. Uh, so yeah, any feedback is, is, is welcome. But just be aware that if you are doing new major version, like some of the things that are broken now will not necessarily be broken in the next version because we will maybe do things uh, quite different. <laughs> so always keep keep your feedback in a way that we can reuse it for League 16. Yeah. Talking but, about yeah. feedback, by the way, uh, there is a live feedback as we speak chat and uh -huh. Freevion 97 oh, yeah, said it downloaded a torrent file uh torrent file but the file extension is iso instead of iso torrent there will be probably face. wrong uh for... open yeah. an issue on get open <laughs> or can have open uh, slash uh yeah let me open it i will of course fix all of this which is why i'm here oh, that... Yeah. And uh, join the chat, uh, okay. connect. I will use probably my account. Yeah. Uh, can you share that uh, if, if it's OK? Yeah, yeah, will do. I was trying to respond to the uh, chat. Yeah, how it At works. It, it's uh, OK. Yeah. Yeah, file. So just, just go here to get the uh, open our GitHub page. And uh, OK. Doesn't work for me in the chat, so I will just share it as you suggested. So it's I suppose kind of, you refer to slow, this page. Go here, right? And then you've mentioned that you've downloaded the torrent file and you got the ISO instead. The pointer was it for ARM or for Intel? Like to me, it seems to point oh. correctly to torrent. But uh, if there was, oh, that was for the main image. And that seems to um, be. Frivian. 97. Yeah, can, I will check you, it can out. Can you write us into the chat? Yeah. Uh, can you can you write us the uh, for which version you you face that issue, please? Uh, the Intel. NCDCs, okay. Uh, so yeah, yeah. The best you can also get all the files from uh, download open source or slash distribution. Just just to be sure. So this is a way how you can work around it for now. And uh, if I'm checking the Intel torrent, it seems to point to torrent file, which got downloaded for me within a second. But you are correct. It pointed me to the, no, 22 kilobytes. <laughs> yes. no, so it's this bad. will be a literally. It's a torrent file. It's but torrent it, it has the ISO suffix. Just, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's just having the wrong name. So I see. Yeah. Yeah. So if you if you can go to github.com slash <laughs> get dash oo get open source org, you can open issue. I will look into that. Uh, we we have few people who are really into torrents like Bernhard, so I, I I'm sure we will get it fixed during today. Thanks for the feedback. This is this is useful. Um, yeah. yeah, torrents uh, are. Do, do... <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. Go, go ahead. No, no, that was always a little bit problematic on our side, but uh, we know that it, you know, there is a user base that really prefers torrents. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All right. Uh, have you prepared anything else to demo today? Or... Yeah, we can. Like, we can we can show installation of Leaf fifteen six if you want, but like, I'm not sure. Uh, it would probably take quite some while. But maybe to people who didn't do it, like, and they are thinking, you know, and and they want to see how it looks like, I can do a little screen share of that. Uh, if you feel so, like because it's, 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 it's release day, cool. you know, we should totally try to install it, right? If it doesn't install, yes. we have a problem. Yeah. So I have Leap Micro here. Uh, yeah, maybe <laughs> let me screen share some other tab then, like maybe something like get open set. Yeah, this one. So I've already downloaded the image. Let's not try to install it through the torrent file that was just uh, created that I think would, would be unhappy. Yeah, browse local, right? And based on the size, this is the media that we want. 709.1 is the build that we used for uh, Goldmaster, so we want that one. Uh, it should automatically detect the distribution. I will use probably for four gigs of RAM. That should be the minimal, I, I believe. 
Uh, yeah, 20 gigs should be enough. I will try to leave 15.6. Thing with those spaces. Yeah, and we should be booting. Perfect. Uh, so let me just resize it because I can imagine that. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Installation. Yeah. It should be fairly quick. Uh, just to you know, make sure like I am not using file as a storage because that would be much slower. I have a NVMe drive, so that should be fairly quick even on writing in VM. Uh, yeah. So uh, by the way, this is maybe the last time that you see traditional installer in Leap. Uh, I think that we will be probably using Agama and self install uh, for Leap 16. Self install people may already know from Leap Micro. That takes literally like two minutes to install. Uh, that's amazing. Leap Micro is much smaller. I think that the install image has like uh, 1.5 gig or something like that. So it's basically uh, you know text interface plus cockpit plus. <laughs> Questions about pizza. Uh, yeah, uh, I finished the pizza, by the way. I see that people are asking. That's on <laughs> Telegram, but I hope that they are watching. Uh, so yeah, self-install is cool. It, for, for minimal server installation, where you don't expect multiple operating systems, that's perfectly fine. It just dumps the image to the drive. And then you can have like a first boot configuration wizard. And Agama 8. Well, I'm not sure what will be the up-to-date version when we release it of the Agama, but we would like to use Agama as an installer. I suppose less as well. Uh, online repositories, I will skip it probably for now to make it faster. Uh, uh, you yeah. know, I didn't install can, Plasma can, for a long time, so. Mm -hmm. Can you stretch it? Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Make it a bit more visible. I'm going for Plasma because yeah. I'm GNOME user, so let's, let's, you know, right now I'm also on GNOME. Uh, only 15.6. So let's do the default layout and we should be basically installing. I think it, it will want to confirm like, yeah, okay. So I'm living in Czech Republic. Let's use UTC. I will use Autosman with super secret password test. Uh, by the way, you can skip uh, automatic login is really cool, especially if you use full disk encryption. Uh, yeah, I will use it for the demo purposes, but ideally that's how you would use it. Uh, yeah, and install it. So let's see. That will be relatively fast. By the way, uh, who would I actually recommend Leap to? Um, if you didn't use OpenSUSE yet and you are coming from different distribution, maybe this should be probably your first distribution. And if you will find yourself in need of much newer software, like maybe more more recent Python, more recent Ruby, stuff like that, I would probably experiment with Distrobox and try to run Tumbleweed in Distrobox as a terminal. And if that will not make you happy, then I would consider using Tumbleweed, which will deliver you more recent so versions of software. Plasma Six, you know, they they prefer they not they do not use the LTS versions; they really use the latest, greatest, and test it. But, uh, but you have to expect that you may have actually like update to update, huge change such as complete update of Plasma, you know, like from Plasma 5 to Plasma 6. And you may be surprised and it could be several gigs of updates a week. But, uh, you know, that's the, that's the price for actually having a fresh system. While Leap is on the little bit more conservative side, uh, giving you LTS and only security updates and, and you know, some maintenance updates as well after GA. Uh, so you don't have, you, you will not receive as much traffic as you would get on Tumbleweed. But, you know, the price is that uh, it's more like conservative system when it comes to version bumps and so on. Uh, so it's not for everyone, but uh, each of these have their audience. To my knowledge, like it's Leap is currently the most downloaded distro. Uh, not sure exactly why. I, you know, it may be like uh, server runs. Uh, you know, if you want to run huge server farms, like, and you want to like, you are still in the category that you don't want to pay. Leap would be probably a good choice. Yeah, we have Douglas joining in. Want to share hey, some stuff? Totally. Let me stop sharing. I will get back to Plasma once it's installed. Yeah, it's going to, I figure it's a good time to pop in here. Uh, we're totally. Just, uh, release party started. Uh, also having a fest here in Nuremberg. And so I was able to connect my, my connection is not the best, <laughs> but um, I just it's good. To, it's good. to say happy release. 
Happy release day. Background. Good, good. Yeah. Is there any questions you, you would have? I mean, I, I heard most of the stuff. Show us the cake. Show us the cake. I or cupcakes. I know that you are you, you have some. It, 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 it's way <laughs> over there. It's actually okay, way okay. over there. I need it. <laughs> Too loud. You know, don't want Too to good really to be shown. I get it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but but I saw you. You're already celebrating uh, on the backstage. You're having some beers. So look at you. I, I I certainly am. Yeah. I think that actually you can go to. I wish I could put it in there, but but uh, you know, Open says it has a virtual bar, so you can always hop in there and whether Absolutely. you want to drink coffee or beer or other things, it's you know play it's games. To hop into play games. Yes. So, also, we can. Oh, oh nice! Yeah, <laughs> totally. Ciao, ciao. Cheers. <laughs> uh, yeah, absolutely. We, you know, or if you have issues installing it, we can we can kind of help you to get it installed or or show where to report issues so so the issues get resolved as soon as possible. Also, I'm really happy for any infrastructure download issues that you are reporting, like get open source or alternative uh, link is missing. Or we we got the incorrect torrent downloadable suffix uh, for the file, uh, which is ISO should be ISO torrent. Um, there will be more. We fixed release notes uh, and translations related to release notes. So yeah, it, it will be a busy day. I can I can totally see that. By the way, I, if I, anybody of... I, I think we're going to have to go into the YouTube and make it an adult. Uh, adult. Uh, ah, totally. Because of the beer. Yeah, it includes alcohol. Totally, beer. totally. I'm sorry, I'm sorry y'all. Sorry. <laughs> sorry to you, you. Uh, <laughs> It's once Happens. a year. For us, it's only once a year. Leap is released every 12 months, uh, by the way. Uh, you can always expect it. Like when, when people ask, when is the next release? Well, guess what? You know, 12 months from now. Uh, well, with 16, it may not be the case. It may be a little bit more uh, because we aim for, uh, for fall. And uh, yeah, also keep in mind that Leap 15.4 is end of life. So if you are still using Leap 15.4, upgrade to 15.5 or even better, 15.6. Uh, it's end of life since December uh, last year, end of December. Yeah. Which, which also, you know, this today actually puts into effect that six month aspect. Overlap. Unless, Absolutely. Unless perhaps something gets extended, but it gives it gives uh, that count date that has traditionally been a part of leap, right? So Absolutely. Actually leap, leap forty two, and 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 you know, uh, I'm not sure how familiar anyone out there is with leap in the numbering system but yep. uh some might wonder why we went from 42 to 15 and uh it's a long story i guess we could go on for a while but uh, but a little bit behind that was to kind of put make some sense out of it uh 42 was supposed to align with uh SLE 12 and so um there was a jump and we ended up uh going ahead and going to a elite 15 so Looking forward to staying on track with like 16, and uh, yeah, should be good. I, I think uh, if you go to news.opensusa.org, you'll definitely be able to see uh, the news that's out there about you know yeah. this particular release with 15.6, and and the benefit too that it brings to people, um, as far as like you know just the if you're looking at extended support, you know that's what Susa's there for, um, so that's a good option to look at. By the way, regarding what's new, do you mind, like, we can chat and I can maybe on the background show cockpit to people who didn't see it because this is the first time that they can, they can actually test it on leap. Uh, yes, please. Yeah, let's, it's, it's, I hope it works. Okay. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, proceed. And so here we are. Let's see if I allow the root access because this is by default uh, disabled just for, uh, you know, like password based root authentication through SSH. So you actually have to edit ETC cockpit. Yeah, I think my password is incorrect. It's not about not being allowed. Yeah, correct. See, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the fail login attempt that we just had. And uh, so it's basically a virtual management interface for your host. You can run containers from here very easily. Uh, do I have containers plugin installed? Probably don't. But uh, that's just a matter of installing plugin. And you have your online terminal, which is pretty cool. So you can do like whatever you are 
used to, you know, which is nice, just from the comfort of your web browser, you don't have to have SSH enabled on the machine. I also do not recommend to actually have this fully exposed to public, you know, it, it gives way too much privileges. But uh, it's it's pretty neat. Uh, you may know, you already know it from Leap Micro, uh, where there is even a bigger benefit, basically, where you can use this as uh, some sort of overview of your updates because you have automatic updates on Micro, uh, including automatic rollbacks. So you, we, you probably want to see your update uh, history and so on, uh, which will not be here because it doesn't have automatic updates. So, but uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty little neat service. I can maybe try to install the the cockpit. Uh, sorry, the Podman uh, plugin and, and show how to run containers very easily. But uh, yeah, you can also see it on youtubecom uh, opensuse We have a lot of Leap Micro videos there with uh, with cockpit. So I think it's pretty neat. Like people were asking for it, and up until 15.6, we were basically not able to add the service because of old Python and also like a few other patches that had to be updated. Don't expect that SC Linux plugin for Cockpit is working because uh, we don't have SC Linux on, on Leap, like at least not the policy, same for Slus. So it's it's there, but it's not really functioning. So do not report bugs for it, please. How is your, uh, how is the, um, the virtual machine that you're loading there? Oh, yeah, yeah absolutely. It, I think it's already installed. Let's see. And, you know, uh, with, you know, if you go to their, the YouTube page, You'll see a lot of a lot of tutorials as Lubash had mentioned. So yeah. it is really, really nice. Oh, there we um, go. Doing different kinds. So ah. there we go. So this is like Plasma 52711, I believe. The latest LTS version available. Uh, by the way, I believe that V and Kubuntu are the only versions that are using the LTS version. Uh, What's also new on this download page, and I think it's worth mentioning, is that uh, we started uh, to propagate donations to Geekco Foundation that will be sponsoring people traveling to OpenSUSE conference or maybe pizza release party, uh, stuff like that. So if you are interested, you can you can contribute uh, in this way. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's 15.6. Uh, we have nice about, yeah. 527.11, as I mentioned. Do you want to mention the new logo? <laughs> yeah, well, new logo. <laughs> so the wallpaper is the same, including the logo. It's just the format is different. So we technically, we had this logo pre in previous release. But absolutely, because we were deploying it today. So let me actually use this VM since uh, we have it. Let's go to get open Cesar here. And you will notice that uh, yeah we have uh, the slimmer logo which is which is the new leap logo compared to the old one and uh, yeah that's going to stick around for 16 as well i suppose it's also i'm really happy that this logo won the competition for the new logos uh, in uh, that we had earlier this year because it saved me you know we already had wallpaper done so we could just reuse it and just update the rest of the logos to match match, match with it i can i also have the logo here uh, here on the live stream, the same one. <laughs> and on my t-shirt, t-shirt has actually the old logo, but it's already on the slim side. Cool. So anything else that, that comes up to your mind, like maybe how to start contributing to Leap? Uh, tricky question, because we will have that 16. I would wait maybe until we have some alpha published and then you know look into it. Otherwise, on OSC, we'll probably touch the topic open to the conference. And maybe you can watch like the video from there if it will be published on time. That should give you some guidance about like what to watch for, where to go, whom to talk to, and so on. Also, I guess like uh, everybody should just install it, you know, report any issues that uh, pop up in the way. We also have known issues back uh, wiki page. So if you look up uh, known issues open to the 15.6 or open to the lead 15.6, you will find it very easily. And if the issue that you are experiencing is already reported, uh, then please just click on it, you know, write a comment, hey, I suffer from this too on this and this hardware, and that will be a huge help. Otherwise, please report new bugs. The known issues page have also linked you how to report bugs. Uh, so you give engineering teams all that they need before, you know, they have to ask you for providing, I don't know, a version of the installed software, for example. I will say, uh, as Wes mentioned, just just go to contribute.opensuzit.org. 
you know, if you are interested in getting involved with the project, yeah. there's multiple ways to enter. Uh, and, and we could always use, you know, the different thoughts and the different uh, experiences that people have. So I can show how to contribute very easily. We need to finish translation of release notes. And this is probably the easiest <laughs> way how to start contributing. And I can show you in 10 seconds how to do that. Okay. Uh, so let me screen share. Supposing that you've created an account. If not, then that's additional two minutes. Okay, so we have l10n.opensys.org. And that's for open call for everybody who's watching us on YouTube too. Uh, it's loading. Maybe I have it open. No, that's the retrospective. Okay. Web late. Uh, here we are. And if you go, yeah, I would look for release notes, open Sysily 156. Otherwise, there should be some better link to show you all of the components. But uh, this is the hot stuff right now, uh, is what changed in Leaf 156. And you can choose your language. So for me, it's the Czech. Obviously, we don't have to translate English uh, because the notes are written in English. So I just click on the language of my choice and I click on translate. That's it. And here I see what changed from the last time. Then you can see what's new here. And I can see that the Czech translation is a little bit behind. That seems to be quite old, right? So what I would do is I would copy the string. I would replace it, write the Czech translation here. Um, let me switch the keyboard for me. And uh, and here, and we are done with the something like this. And I'm not so sure. Like I would only suggest it, like because I'm not so confident that this is the best best thing how this could be translated. If you are so sure, you can ah uh, here see wait for review, uh, save and continue, and we can go to the next translation. It's really easy, right? And then you can continue where you are sure, and if you have permissions, you can approve it, where you are not so sure, just flag it for review or do suggestion, everything is possible. If you don't really have energy to do that particular translation, just click skip until you go through all of the strings. Keep in mind that you can also review stuff suggested by others. See, like uh, we have been doing it for one minute and we've already translated part of release notes. So it, it can be really easy. We have a lot of people working on Swedish translations right now, I think. Mm -hmm. Can you share which languages need more attention than others? That would be uh, absolutely, absolutely. Or... Turkish was behind. Uh, I know that uh, Onura was looking into it. And if you go to here, one more back. This is release note specifically. Okay, there is like many more packages than that. But when we are talking about release note, you can see Belarusian, Bengali is behind, Bulgarian a little bit, Croatian is behind, Estonian is behind, Georgian. Gujarati, Kabil zero, uh, yeah, Romanian, Punjabi is also behind, Tamil, Thai behind. Turkish is getting better thanks to, I suppose, help from Monoral. And all the Welsh is also low. Same for Zulu. So and we have many more projects. So you can actually like just go to projects, browse all, and you can you can see you know if there is some project that you like you enjoy using you can you know get open to the download page that uh, that you will be downloading uh, lead from and you can also look into it and, and go for transitions here you can see that we are like fairly good fairly well translated again turkish is behind but everything else is fully translated while well, chinese not so as well funny is english 95 percent okay well <laughs> not sure what happened there <laughs> <laughs> Probably a bug, yeah. Uh, I see question, how is it going, uh, Alex? So it's going well, uh, little issues on current side. Uh, translations are ongoing, so you can participate if you want to, you know, open beer and just, just you know, translate a few strings. If 100 <laughs> people do that, like we are done, right? Yeah. Anything else that you guys can think of? Uh, so you know that Leap 16 is the next release after 15.6. Uh, as Doug mentioned, we offer a six months overlap support and we intend to offer such support as well in between 15.6 and 16. 
Um, that's that we will we will have to pull some strings because typically EOL of leap 15.6 should be December 31st, 2025. But if we release in October, we have to give people more time to migrate. So I will look into what we can do. Uh, if we add two months, three months, uh, whatever will be possible before they touch it in the company. So don't don't be afraid. Like you will have plenty of time to migrate over to 16.0. We will make sure of that. I guess happy hacking and let's do the bar. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh, come again, Doug. Sorry. Uh, I, <laughs> I said any any news uh, that'll be coming out about Leap Sixteen, just go to news.opensuse.org, and uh, you know we'll keep people updated there on on things and how they're progressing. So. And I'm going to go join the uh, release party. Nice. So. Yeah, uh, team, I cannot release. post links Everybody. to the chat. Jo uh, go to meetopensuse.org slash bar. That's where we are. For some reason, I cannot paste links in, in the chat, which is fine. Just, just uh, see you there. I'm we we can chat together. Again. Yeah. It's, it's on the screen. So meetopensuse.org slash bar. Yeah, OK, cool. It's there, yeah. yeah. And there'll be I'm yeah. well, I'm pretty sure there'll be already a tons of people and we can all chat, discuss together, you know, any issues. Make sure to respond to survey open to the or tell us what you didn't like or what you like on the release. That that will help me a lot. It will keep me busy next two weeks. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Luna. Thank you too. Have a nice day. Enjoy thank your you installation much. of 15.6 and, yeah. and a smooth upgrade. Bye. Yeah. Bye.